Hey guys, so I'll be showing you how to install a Red NAND onto your Wii U. So this is kind of new and it just came out, so there still needs to be a lot of testing and stuff that's done, so it's not completely stable yet. So I'm not responsible if anything happens to your console, but yeah. So to start off, you'll need a 64GB SD card. Um, the guide I'm getting this from says that you cannot have anything less than that, but a 128 or anything bigger should also be good. So then you'll need a Wii U. Okay, so once you have your SD card and your Wii U ready, then you're going to need to put your SD card into your PC, and we're going to copy these files to it. So you can right click on them and click copy, and you're going to click on your SD card and paste them right here. And should copy them. If you get anything that says to confirm and replace stuff, you can do this for all current items and hit yes. And then this will continue to copy all them. And do the same thing for this, copy and replace. And it should finish. So now we're going to make a backup of all of our SD card files. So you can just select all the files and do copy. And go to a safe location on your computer. It doesn't matter. And then just make a folder and call it SD card backup. And then you can go inside of that folder and paste everything inside of this. So we'll just wait for this to get done. And then once this is done, you can go back over to your SD card. So now we're going to eject our SD card and put it into our Wii U. So now on your Wii U, you need to load up the internet browser. So once this loads, in the URL box at the top, you're going to type in loading.ovh. L-O-A-D-I-I-N-E dot O-V-H. And when you do that, this page should come up. So make sure for select your program, it says Homebrew Launcher 1.2. So if it doesn't say that, then you can use the drop box to change it, then hit Submit. And it should load you into the Homebrew Launcher now. It only takes a few seconds, so that's good. And then from here, you're going to select CFW Booter. And then you can hit Load. And it will load it up. And then for some reason at this point my capture card does not work with the Wii U anymore. Like it just like disconnects so I have to use a camera to record this section of the video. Um, I'm not sure if it's a problem with my capture card or if this is something that just happens. So when you come to this you should see this message come up. I know you can't see it with the camera that well but it says welcome to Red NAND. No NANDum detected. SD format and complete NANDum required. So press the power button on your console to format the SD card, otherwise the console will shut down, and then it has a timer telling you when it will shut down. So now on your Wii U, you're going to push the power button once. Just push it, do not hold it down or anything. And then you'll see some stuff change on screen. A lot of this isn't important, all you need to know is that it'll tell you the total number of blocks that are already dumped out of the total number of blocks in all. So that's kind of the only useful thing that you'll see on screen. So you can just use that to kind of calculate how long it'll take. Okay, so when it's done, you can eject your SD card from your Wii U. Um, the console should reboot when it's done, so if it doesn't reboot, if it like freezes or something, then it might not have completed correctly, then you should try it again. But once it's done, then you should notice that your SD card should have half the space available on it. If you put it into Windows, it might ask you to format it. Yes, you can format it by going like this. And it should say 31.7 gigabytes and FAT32. Then you can hit Start. And mine's already formatted, so I don't need to. So now we're going to copy all of the files that we backed up back onto it. So if you remember, mine was SD card backup. So I'm going to copy all these files. And we're going to paste them back on here. And we're just going to wait for this to get done. It might take a little while, depending on how much stuff you had on your SD card. Okay, so once it's done copying all the files, then you can eject your SD card and put it back into your Wii U. And then you can load up the internet browser. And once you're in the internet browser, then you can go to the URL box at the top and type in loading.ovh yet again. L-O-A-D-I-I-N-E dot O-V-H. And then once this is loaded, 
that it should say Home Wheel Launcher 1.2. If it doesn't say that, then you can select it from the drop down box, but it should say that. And then you can click Submit, and the Home Wheel Launcher should load from that point. So then once it's loaded, we're going to go into CFW Booter, and you can click Load on this. Okay, so Gradnand usually takes a long time to boot, so it might take like 10 to 15 seconds, so you can just wait for that to get done. And then once it's done, your home menu should load up, and you should be in your Gradnand now. So you can do stuff like install sysconfig tool, and install all that other stuff that you normally would not install to System NAND. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for videos, tutorials, and other stuff like this. And I'll see you next time.